Joining us now via Skype, Army veteran John Usner, here to talk about his experiences as a wounded warrior and the film airing this Sunday afternoon on MSNBC. John, we thank you for your time and welcome you to America's Forum. Thank you. Um, thank you for having me on your show. We're very happy to do so, John. Take us back to your decision to enlist in the Army at age 17. The day you made that decision, what was going through your mind? Actually, it was the uh, Marine Corps first, sir. I started out um, delayed entry at the age of 16. Um, being a West Texas boy is either working on ranches or the oil field. And I didn't think I was college material, so I decided to uh, jump with uh, a couple of friends of mine that went into the Marine Corps. So you decided, and, and thank you for making that correction, because as we know, there's a, a real difference between uh, the different branches, and we appreciate that distinction. Now this upcoming documentary that will be shown on MSNBC, you've probably seen it all the way through. How does it tell your story, and uh, do you think in all it's an accurate portrayal of what you're going through right now and what you've gone through before? Actually, I'm really impressed to how it was put together. Um, it exceeded my expectations, and I really do hope that this comes across as how well the Wounded Warrior Project has helped me. And I do hope that others will see it. And if you don't get help from the Wounded Warrior Project, please get help from someplace else. And as we again invite veterans of both Iraq and Afghanistan to, to check in with wounded warriors and the good work they do. We have to talk about what's happening right now in terms of current events, the, the uh, news conference yesterday from our commander in chief, the um, sending what, 300 special advisors back to Iraq. W when you see that going on, both from a personal and a public policy standpoint, uh, how do you feel about that? I have mixed emotions, um, and with uh, all due respect, sir, uh, I'd kind of like to stay away from the uh, the political side of the house. Um, it, it's one of those that uh, um, it's a frustrating factor that has really uh, reared its ugly head in this case. Well, fair enough. We'll stay away from that. What we're going to do right now is take a look at the clip of this documentary and we'll come back and talk about it a little bit. Here, here is a, a portion of the documentary. I joined the Marine Corps before I was the age of 18, and uh, my dad told me, if you didn't make it through boot camp, don't come home. I did three classified combat tours and one humanitarian tour, but I really didn't grow up like I thought I did. 9-11 happened, and whether the civilian population knew it or not, those of us that were military, we knew there's a fight coming. It was only a matter of time and where. This was my second chance. And so you answered the call to duty. Now you look back at this through, what, uh, four tours, uh, three combat tours, and one humanitarian tour. C can you classify a difference uh, in, in all of those different tours that you went through? And now looking back with, with your perspective today, tell us what's going on for you in the here and now, John. Well, uh, in tour classification for the Marine Corps, you had combat tours, which was uh, tours where you're more than likely going to get shot at. And then you had humanitarian uh, what we call a humanitarian relief mission, uh, which is like the uh, 1998 um, hurricane uh, relief in Honduras and Nicaragua. Uh, with the Army, it was uh, four uh, straight combat tours, starting two with the National Guard and uh, two with the uh, active duty Army. The here and now is, yeah, I'm currently working uh, to get my degree in herpetology. And with that, I hope to uh, join the uh, uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife in um, their biological field as a, um, 
conservationists for endangered species. Well, you're looking to the future and you're working hard to get there. We thank you for reflecting on your past and the here and now. And again, just so everyone knows, we're going to take a look at the details of when this documentary airs. It'll be seen on MSNBC Sunday, 1 o'clock on the East Coast, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Wounded, the battle back home where you can hear John's story. John, we thank you for your time and we thank you for sharing your reflections with us here on America's Forum. And sir, we would be remiss if we did not say to you, thank you for your service, and we wish you the best with your continued healing from your time in uniform. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. John Usner, Skyping in from Texas. He says he wants to stay away from the politics, but he used the word frustrating. Maybe you feel that way, too, when we take a look at what is going on in Iraq and Afghanistan now and what preceded the current situation. Your comments encouraged and welcomed. You can use social media to get to us. Why don't you tweet us your remarks at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum. There's also email, connect at NewsmaxTV.com. And don't forget Facebook. Facebook.com slash Newsmax.